Hello friends, let's see this particular question. An element with density 2.8 gram per centimeter cube forms a FCC unit cell. You know what is FCC? FCC is what your face centered cubic unit cell with edge length 4 into 10 power minus 8 centimeter. Calculate the molar mass of that element. Okay, so you have to calculate what? Molar mass. Okay, you have to calculate this molar mass. Okay, so first we will concentrate on this density and you know what is density? Density is what your rho, that is what density and density is what your mass per unit volume okay and you know this density is basically what your density is an intensive property it is what your it's an intensive property now you know what is intensive property intensive property intensive properties are those properties which are independent of the amount taken okay now what is the meaning of that you see very simple you you take one bucket of water okay you take one bucket and put some water there okay and you take one drop outside that bucket. So, of course, when you are taking this, the mass of this drop is what? Less. But at the same time, your volume is also less. So, this mass upon volume, the ratio will be what? Same. Because if the mass is decreasing, the volume is also decreasing in the same proportion. Okay. And that's why this ratio is what? Constant. And that ratio is what you are basically density. So basically density of either this drop or this you know amount of water inside this bucket both will be what you seen okay that's why we are calling it what your intensive property that is independent of the amount taken independent of the amount taken okay independent of the amount taken okay. now you see why I discussed all these things okay what is given given is that you have density of that element is given okay that is the density of the crystal lattice lattice crystal lattice of that element okay crystal lattice of element suppose that element is a so crystal lattice of a and the density of the crystal lattice of a is given and that is what you that is given is what 2.8 gram per centimeter cube and you know that this Crystal lattice is made up of what? This crystal lattice is made up of what you? Unit cell. So can I say that the density of unit cell will be what? The density of crystal lattice. Simple. If the density of crystal lattice, that is of density of that element is 2.8 into, uh, sorry, 2.8 gram per centimeter cube. So the density of unit cell will be what? Again, 2.8 gram per centimeter cube because density is an intensive property okay as the density of this droplet will be same as the density of all the water inside this bucket i can say that from this droplet you can produce this whole amount of water okay so now you know that density of unit cell that is row of unit cell is given A row of unit cell is given and that is what your 2.8 gram per centimeter cube 2.8 gram per centimeter cube okay now you see this unit cell to concentrate on this unit cell so to calculate the rho of this unit cell you have to take the mass of this unit cell you have to take the mass of this unit cell upon you have to take the volume of that unit cell okay now how to calculate the mass of that unit cell and how to calculate the volume of that unit cell now we have to focus on this okay so you see now you take molar mass of that element okay that is molar mass of that element of element suppose that element is a of an element okay of an element a is what your m gram you know what is molar mass molar mass is basically what your mass of mass of 6.022 into 10 h power 23 atom of element a okay of a and that is what you m gram so can you tell me what is the mass of one atom what is the mass of one atom of a and that will be what your m upon 6.022 into 10 is power 23 into what one simple unitary method that is the mass of one atom of a in what gram okay that is the mass of one atom of a in what gram okay okay now you see FCC unit cell. You see FCC unit cell. What is this FCC unit cell? If you see FCC unit cell, 
you see this is what your fcc unit cell that is your face centered cubic so atoms are present at the corner in that unit cell as well as at the face okay you know how many atoms are there effective number of atoms in an fcc effective number of atoms in an fcc is what four how can we so four okay so you see how many corners are there eight corners and you know for each corner the contribution is what one by eight you know that you can see here also okay you see this is what your corner at so this whole atom is this whole atom is what uh you know this whole atom is uh you know contributing this eight unit cell okay so in one unit cell this one eighth part of this atom will contribute in what one unit cell okay so that means the contribution of this corner atom is what one by eight and how many corners are there eight so how many total eight these type of uh corner atoms are there and the all this atom has contribution one by eight in this unit cell so this corner atoms are contributing what 8 into 1 by 8 and how many faces are there six faces okay and each face centered atom will contribute what how many how much contribution of this each you know face centered atom that is what your half you can see here you see this is what your face centered atom okay and this face centered atom in this unit cell is contributing what half and you have how many face six face so this is what six face centered atoms and they are contributing half in this unit cell so that is what 6 into half and this is what is 4 okay so this is what your 4 atoms so effectively you can say that 4 atoms in this unit cell okay and you know what is the mass of this one atom that is your m upon 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so in fcc what is the mass of one unit cell mass of unit cell will be what because one unit cell effectively it contains four atoms and mass of one atom is this much gram so it is what your 4 into m upon 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 we can also say this is what your avogadro number so this is what your na okay na gram okay so this is what a mass of unit cell fcc cubic word is there and if cubic is there we can find the volume so volume of that unit cell will be what volume of that unit cell will be what that is what your a cube okay a cube and what is a cube basically so a is what your basically s length so s length is given that is your 4 into 10 is power minus 8 centimeter so that is what your 4 into 10 is power minus 8 centimeter and this is what your 4 cube so you know mass you know volume okay so how to find this density and what was density density was 2.8 gram per centimeter cube okay so 2.8 gram per centimeter cube equals to mass and what was mass mass is what 4 into m upon na and what is volume volume is what your a cube that is what your what was your volume 4 into 10 is power minus 8 4 into 10 is power minus 8 centimeter whole cube okay and you know this value you know this value you know this you know this you can calculate m and what will be the unit of m this m will come in what gram so you have to take care of unit hope you understand this concept thank you